to the Running FC career mode. Another episode, another day. Two pretty tricky tests against West Ham and against Huddersfield, but ones we should be winning. But then the next two, what, well, the next three episodes are all massive. Especially as, you know, Leeds aren't the best team, but we want to be beat them very badly. Uh, away at Huddersfield, another one we'd like to win. Uh... Team-wise, Martial has to start. Do that, and we'll go... Eh, we'll, we'll, we'll save it at that. Anyway, come on you ours, let's get another three points on the board. Right. But Gaming has our top scorer in the league, of course. Uh, he's going to be shown in at the start of every game instead of Yen Fiatarp, I guess, now. Ah, FIFA. Add some more pre-match animations. Anyway, here we are at the John Smith Stadium, or the Kirkley Stadium, or... I don't know, whatever you want to call it. We're in Huddersfield. And hopefully, we can get three points on the ball. But we are up against Danny Williams, someone who I still need to sign. <laughs> I'm sorry, I keep forgetting. Anyway, I'll do it after this game, promise. Come on, you ours. Hazard scores! Of course he does. Aiden Hazard makes it 1-0 to the Royals. Great bit of play by Martial. Got the cross in. Hazard had so much time. Puts it past Lossel. And the Belgian, he can't stop scoring. It's running 1, Huddersfield 0. Ball in behind. Martial. Brought down. Penalty given. Will be a straight red card as well. Huddersfield in real trouble now. Aiden Hazard. Saved. He keeps missing. I don't know why I keep giving it to him, but he keeps missing. Uh... Saying that, that wasn't particularly Aiden Hazard's fault. It was more... The blame was a bit more on me as Hazard uh, wriggles away. Fabinho wins his header. And now the Royals can recycle. Good defending by Danny Williams who gets it out. Fekir buries it. Reading 2, Huddersfield 0. Shouldn't have been a struggle. Uh, great move by the Royals once again. Cross the back post and a very easy finish. Again, Fekir just sticks it past Lussel. Makes it Reading 2, Huddersfield 0. Vinicius battling in Danny Williams. Reading really should have won the ball high at the pitch there. Instead, Huddersfield have an opportunity to counter. Plenty of men up there. But Reading have won it back. Raheem Sterling. He's kind of looking for a penalty there, but... The challenge was so poor, it didn't even... Go anywhere near the man as Arp curls the ball into the back of the net. Jan Fiat Arp gets a brilliant goal and a deserved goal from him. You know, sometimes you just have to play it to him and he'll put it in the back of the net. Reading free, Huddersfield nil, and uh, yeah, it's a good day in Yorkshire. Oh, Pahovsky. He's still going, the keeper. Oh, Pahovsky! No! Oh, and Vinicius. Scores! Colossal error by Lossel. See what I did there? Colossal. Uh, what was that? So easy for Vinicius. 
kind of was hoping he could do a bit of a skill finish, but it was just, okay, let's just put it in the back of the net. Make it four. <sighs> Only to then hit off the bar, off the post, and roll out. Like, that's so cruel. I want to see this again. Doesn't have it. Of course it doesn't. Well, a convincing victory for the Royals uh, in game number one. Obviously, Huddersfield having a man sent off didn't exactly hinder us. But yeah, a lot, a lot of interesting stuff happened. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and score a key goal against West Ham. Anyway, yeah, I'll see you for that game. West Ham United up next. Uh, now in December, the season's gone by very quickly. Last time we played West Ham, we really thrashed them. Uh, this time we're we're gonna we're gonna rotate a bit. I get what, as we often do. One thing we are going to do is we're going to go back to this formation. Just, you know, not, not, possibly not permanently, but we're just going to give it a game against West Ham. And yeah, come on, Reading, let's do the business. Right, here we go. There's Anthony Martial, man of the moment. Uh, has been in immense form recently for, for the team. And hopefully he can send us into the semi-finals of the League Cup. It's Reading and West Ham. Come on, you ours. Brahimi. Back post, Liam Kelly. Always going to be a struggle for the little man to get up for that. Okinawa. No struggle for him whatsoever. It's the Japanese centre-back, the giant at the back, with a huge header. We know he's capable of that. And he sends it with a lot of spin off the post into the back of the net. And ready to have an early lead at home against West Ham. Sigurdsson, brilliant goal, Gilfie Sigurdsson. A great little dribble. Took it over everyone's head. Kept going, and volleyed it into the back of the net. Shown for Hovsky how it's done. Ah, oh, Reading 2, West Ham 0. And it's looking likely that we will be in the semi-final of the League Cup once more. Sancho. There's Sigurdsson for two. And Gilfie, ice in those Icelandic veins as he puts Reading 3-0 up. Brilliant finish across the keeper. Reading 3, West Ham United 0. It's been a very, very, very solid performance. Right, there we go. Game over. Very boring, dull game. Uh, nothing really happened, to be honest. Uh, yeah, I'm... I'm uh, boring. Boring, boring, boring. Uh, yeah, Aston Villa, West Brom, Reading and Burnley. Oh, we're going to get... We played Burnley in the League Cup final. I swear the first time, right? That would be... That would be interesting if we... If we played them in the final again. That could happen, because we played West Brom over two legs. A team, another team we've beaten... In the past. Anyway, that's the end of this episode. If you did enjoy, please do leave a like, subscribe if you're new, notification bell's on. I've been Rouge, Easy17. I'll see you next episode. Cheerio. Non prie pour moi, on fait civer la guerre et le retard, le retard, la puissance Gros c'est la puissance, c'est la puissance, la puissance Gros c'est la puissance, c'est la puissance, la puissance Gros c'est la puissance, c'est la puissance, la puissance